Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me here on the Bare Bones Yoga Podcast, Conversations for Yoga Teachers. My name is Karen Fabian. I'm the founder of Bare Bones Yoga. I'm a yoga teacher and educator, and my goal here is to provide you, the yoga teacher, and other listeners with interesting, compelling content designed to pique your interest in teaching, help you grow as a teacher, and support you on your path to sharing this wonderful practice with your students. I've been teaching for over 14 years, and through my classes, workshops, online courses, books, and other content, I focus on the anatomy of yoga and how teachers can learn this complex subject and present it to their students in an understandable way, all designed to help them bring more impact to their teaching. Even though we're not in the same room, I want you to envision for each episode that we've sat down for tea in a cozy coffee shop. Some days we'll talk about technical teaching topics, while some days we might have a teacher friend join in on the conversation, and other days we'll face some of the personal challenges that can come up when we take on the journey of being a teacher, knowing that the more authentic we can be, the more we can impact others. For more information about my products and programs and to contact me at any time, just visit my website at barebonesyoga.com. Let's get into today's episode. Hi, everybody. This is Karen Fabian, founder of Bare Bones Yoga, and this is episode 36. And if you're listening to this, you probably uh, either just listened to or have uh, maybe uh, on target to listen to episode 35, which just went live yesterday. I was inspired um, towards the end of the day yesterday to do a quick um, kind of update to yesterday's episode 35 with a special notice. So this is really just gonna be a quick update with um, just my intention to make sure you know about something that I'm offering just this week that is not only a really good overall resource for teachers to have, but really blends nicely with episode 35 that I just released. So this is gonna be short. This episode's gonna be short. So let me start out by saying, if you haven't listened to episode 35, um, you don't necessarily have to listen to it first, but I'll just kind of give you the general gist. In that, I went over um, kind of a whole rationale for why the cues you use are the most important tool you have as a teacher and how the majority of cues we provide as teachers fall into one of four categories. They can be anatomical cues, alignment cues, action cues, or feeling-based cues. And I focused on, in that prior episode, um, a discussion about how when you try to share anatomy-based cues and you really don't have a good understanding of anatomy, It can create a lot of just anxiety, um, confusion for you and your students, and just a lot of feelings that aren't super pleasant. (laughs) And like anything else, as you learn whatever the thing is, right? In this case, we're talking about anatomy, your confidence grows. And with your confidence growing, your feelings about what you're doing can oftentimes shift. And you can really begin to build you know, even a deeper passion for what you're doing and enthusiasm for what you're doing. And that really completely translates when, in this case, when you teach. So I went into a lot more detail, but that's kind of the summary of the last episode. And in addition to that, I released yesterday a yoga class that I recorded. And this is something that is audio only, and it's very intentionally audio only. And the reason that it doesn't involve the visual, like a YouTube video on my YouTube channel, uh, or one of the classes in my online courses, is because I really want you to take your learning into the sensations in your body, into the feeling aspect of your practice, and give you a chance to shift from learning in kind of the academic way, this kind of 
reading books, taking courses, going to workshops, and really embody it, really feel it in your body. And so what I did was I created an online audio class that's about an hour and 15 minutes long. And it's really weighted more towards anatomy-based cues. So if you think about those four types of cues that I mentioned, this is really weighted towards anatomy-based cues. But FYI, what you'll hear is pretty much how I teach all the time. So if you listen to the class or take it, and I really want you to actually do the practice because it's going to be a great way to learn as you're doing. Um, and it'll give you a, an idea, not just of my style, but how you can integrate seamlessly anatomy-based cues into your teaching. And I wanna just throw a disclaimer out there. I am by far not the only teacher teaching with a focus on anatomy. There are a number of teachers that do this. I am not saying that my way is right, my way is the only way. Um, I have one expression and it is born from my passion, my love for teaching the practice, my love for focusing on anatomy and my kind of science geek passion for anatomy in general. Um, so I just want to throw that disclaimer out there because while I do feel confident in my skills, I am by far not um, the only person teaching in this way. And I am still, as all of us, um, always looking to learn. So having said all that, um, today's brief episode is to let you know that just this week, I am offering access to this special class. And I've really made it super easy to get and really, really affordable because I want you to take advantage of this opportunity. So it's just $19.99. So essentially for 20 bucks, you'll download this class and you'll practice to it and it'll be both a practice and a learning. So you'll get both things at the same time. And it'll give you a really good opportunity to kind of get out of your head, get into your body, get out of the academic aspect of learning anatomy and get into the practice aspect. And also for teachers out there who are curious about um, how anatomy-based cues can be provided to students, this will be a great way to pick up on that. You know, one of the most common things I hear from teachers when I do in-person trainings is, I really want the anatomy information to just flow through me. And that's something that I hear a lot, and it comes with experience, but this class will give you a chance to hear how this happens. And um, I think sometimes that can be helpful uh, to kind of see how it all plays out uh, in the end. And as I said before, I am always learning new things and there are definitely things that I shift in my teaching um, from time to time. I mean, right now I'm kind of in a, a, a mode of doing a lot of things on the back in the latter 15 minutes of class. And this is a really intentional shift I've made in my sequencing and I have a lot of logic behind it um, and why I'm doing it. And I share that with my students when I teach so that they understand why they're doing something a little bit different than kind of the autopilot of ending everybody in pigeon facing the floor. In my mind, it's really, really helpful to balance out both energetically and physically the practice. And since we do so much facing the ground, I like to start people on their back. And these days, I kind of like to do a lot of a lot of things at the end on their back. So that can be core, that can be figure four, that can be some uh, reclined uh, hand to big toe pose. It can be uh, gamukasana legs on the back. There's a number, spinal twists. There's a number of things you can do on the back, of course, shoulder stand, legs up the wall. So just energetically and physically flipping it over um, in the latter 15 minutes of class can be a really nice thing to balance out both muscularly and energetically, the practice. So here's the deal. In order to get this offer, you need to be on my mailing list. This is not something that I'm putting on my website. This is not something that you can just go to my website uh, or my social media pages and uh, get, um, or my website and get. What uh, you need to do in order to get it is, I'm gonna include it in the show notes for this episode. So if you're listening to this on iTunes, you could go to my website and click on the podcast page and it'll be attached to this episode. I've posted it on my business Facebook page. 
and my anatomy work group Facebook page. So you could get it there. If you're on my mailing list, you're going to get emails throughout this week reminding you that this is a limited offer for this class just for this week. So if you're already on my mailing list, you're good to go. You're going to get a reminder there. If you'd like to take one of my free downloads on my homepage, that'll add you to the mailing list and then you'll be good to go. You'll get it there. You can always just email me. And my email is karen at barebonesyoga.com. My website is barebonesyoga.com. So at the end of the day, if all of this sounds way too confusing, just send me an email. Super easy. Karen at barebonesyoga.com. Sometimes I talk to these other uh, marketers and they say, oh, it sounds so confusing. Well, what could be simpler than just send me an email? Karen at barebonesyoga.com. And I'll do the follow-up for you. So this offer is only good for this week. It's $19.99 for the class. In addition to the class, you'll get uh, an email from me with a free PDF on how to approach anatomy and create a learning plan for yourself. If you also want to set up a half an hour free call with me so I can develop a customized learning plan for you, I'm happy to do that as well. So this is really a comprehensive offer for $19.99. So I really hope that you take advantage of this. It's a great learning opportunity. And once you listen, please let me know what you think because your feedback gives me important information and guides me in terms of future things I offer. So thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you again soon. Namaste.